Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, here we go. The combination of several thousand virtual fans and a new toy like Thunderdome was bound to have kinks for WWE and several particularly problematic fans from Monday's Raw resulted in the company needing to issue a statement on Tuesday. During the broadcast, several viewers took note of a front row virtual fan clad in what appeared to be a Ku Klux Klan robe during the retribution attack on Rey Mysterio and Dominic. Fans also noted a video of a person being executed, also sitting in the front row, during the same segment, as well as an image of Chris Benoit during Drew McIntyre's promo earlier in the show. WWE released the following statement Tuesday. This abhorrent behavior does not reflect WWE's values. We have zero tolerance for these unacceptable acts. We are working to ban those involved from future events. I hope so. And per our policies, any inappropriate actions result in the removal from the live stream. WWE launched the virtual fan experience last Friday on SmackDown as part of Thunderdome, their new in-ring presentation designed to bring fans into the live experience and to provide more of an atmosphere for those watching at home, etc., etc., etc. So a couple of things here. First off, I asked this question on the Filthy Tom show. I haven't got a good answer. This company is making more money than they have ever made, ever in their existence. Ever. Ever. In the middle of a pandemic. They're paying a whopping $450,000 to run this Thunderdome from now until the end of October. The cost to run a live Raw, the cost to run a live Raw before the pandemic was was over a million dollars an episode, okay? So, all of September, all of October, two weeks of August, we're talking 10 weeks you know, that would have been well over $10 million to run those Raw shows live pre-pandemic. Now, they have from now until the end of October for $450,000. And granted, there's the cost of, of sending sending it up to the satellite uplink, everything like that. But the point, of the, the point of this is, they're saving a lot of money right now. Why don't you just hire 15 bucks an hour, 1,000 people, to be fans because right now you've got these real fans that you're not happy with that you're sitting there and you're telling them what to do how to cheer you're doing wcw worldwide tapings in 1995 you're basically what you want is you want fans to do what you want them to do and these fans aren't so you're sitting there and you're micromanaging them why don't you just hire some people to do this job that's number one Number two, and I, I, I hesitate to even say this, but I've heard this from so many people today. I want to make it abundantly clear. I think that what these, these fans did last night was abhorrent. Don't ruin the show with Chris Benoit and, and throat slitting and all of this other stuff. They're asking you to just go out there and be a fan, and you have to go and try to ruin the show and put all this horrible stuff on television. I mean, it's terrible, okay? Now, with that said... I had one person after another today, some of them involved with the company, that pointed out this company has been fighting, battling with their fan base for 20 years now. It's just butting heads and fighting. The the Daniel Bryan thing, which like in WWE's world now was some brilliant thing that they planned out from start to finish and they gave you it. Dude, that ain't what happened. You wanted Daniel Bryan, and they fought you on it. And they fought you on it. You wanted Roman Reigns to turn heel, they fought you on it. They fought you on it. The the authority... I mean, dude, even last night when Keith Lee comes out and they give him new music. I mean, it's all I heard last night was how angry people were about Keith Lee's new music. Do they need to change Keith Lee's music? No, of course they didn't. But this has been 20-plus years of fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting with the audience. And as abhorrent as it was, and I don't want to see it, and I don't advocate it, but that's one of the reasons when you do a Thunderdome, people are there and they decide that they want to try to screw up your show. So there's no easy solution to this other than my solution, which is no more real fans. 
Just go out there and hire some people to do what you want them to do, and you go from there. You can afford it. You can more than afford it. I mean, you could afford to pay them 100 bucks an hour to do this if you wanted to. So anyway, what next? Uh, you jumped around on a couple different topics there. Um, it's all tying together. It's all one it, topic. It does, but... Uh, <laughs> WWE fighting tooth and nail with their fans, in my opinion brings the micromanagement of needing to tell them how to react and what to do because they are Pavlovian and they respond to entrances. They respond to the batch of moves at the end of a match in the finisher. And that's kind of it. And being stop start with people and bad angles and stories and fighting them tooth and nail. That's what leads to the production aspect that you talked about first why you're drawing that line to people being garbage and people being trolls, um, that's not why people went ahead and did what they did. That's not why people call into the show with Benoit conspiracies. It's not why people will troll and, and go after people on a forum or prank call people or any of that sort of stuff. They do it because they can. They do it because... That's just how it goes, and I'm sure anybody that's ever worked in retail or hospitality or, or really directly with anyone knows that dealing with the general public sometimes is a nightmare. And I think it's just as simple as there are people being garbage that are doing garbage things. I don't believe that you can draw the line fairly from WWE failing so often with their fans as to the reason that somebody would go and put a execution video or a Klansman or Chris Benoit up on the page. I just don't think that's fair to Well, do. let me ask you a question, Mike. Sure. You believe that if New Japan did a Thunderdome, you would have seen the Klan and an execution and anything of that nature on any of their Thunderdome screens? New Japan? Yes. No, I don't think you would see that. AEW, I think it's possible, unfortunately. You I think you would when, see that in an AEW show? I think the, the odds of it go down a lot because of the fan base and, 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 that AEW may have. But again, you're asking, I, I just don't think you're drawing two things here that just people are jerks. People would call into the Larry King show because it was on national TV and say things. People call into lots of different shows when they, just because C-SPAN, watch that, watch Washington Journal in the morning, you know, uh, completely a show that's got no censors whatsoever. And what people will do on a, on a, on a station like C-SPAN, what people will do just because they know they, they can get away with it. And I just don't think to hold this against WWE, yes, there may have been something missed in the vetting process as far as getting that stuff out, but this is all, as we've talked about, a you know a work in progress here. And I just think it's a – to damn WWE for that sort of thing when one would assume that they're trying their best to actually not have anything like that happen for obvious reasons so we can avoid situations like this. I just don't think – I just don't think that that's a fair – line to draw but that's if that's your opinion that's fine i just don't think it's well, a fair thing to necessarily let me, lay let at me WWE's ask WWE's feet that would be like laying it at your feet that ryan will call in with benoit conspiracies it's just it doesn't make any sense let me let me ask everyone who watches sports this question has there been anything with the nba on their screens has there been has there been an execution has there been anything similar to this on an NBA show with their screens. I want someone heard, to answer me that question. Have you heard, and you're right, I guess, about that, but, and I don't know if that's the case, and I don't know if you're going to get the answer. But, you know, do people do this at live sporting events when the camera goes on and give the middle finger or do something lewd or something like that? It happens all the time. So I, I just, again, I think this is, it is an interesting line for you to draw. And I am, I'm not sitting here, I'm not even blaming WWE. I said the thing was horrible, but I'm pointing you out. You are blaming WWE, that's no, how it sounds no, to this. No, no, I'm how you pointing made it out, let me, let me go. I'm pointing out that when you fight with your fans for 20 years, then they're more likely to fight back than a promotion that does not fight with their fans and tries to give the fans what the fans ask for. That's just, that's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not blaming them for this, but I'm pointing out this is one of the reasons this stuff happens with WWE.